Hello guys, it's Gail with Gail Southern Living. Welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm going to be doing my Monticello Cellars recipe. And I'm going to do it Southwest style. I'm going to make chicken fajitas. So here's how I make it. Recipe will be in the description box. Hope you like it. I'm going to make chicken fajitas. So I have the chili basil and also the garlic lovers. Okay, so first I'm going to shake these up. And I have, I've, I did four chicken breasts, two in here and two in here, because I'm making this for two people, so I don't want a lot. So what, it, what I'm going to do is make a marinade for both of them. And this one is the chili basil. So I have it in the middle is everything that's going to be in both. And in the front is what's just going in that one. Because some things wouldn't necessarily go with chili, basil. Some things wouldn't necessarily go with garlic. So I have it split up. All right. So both of them are going to be half a cup of olive oil. And I just got a cup of olive oil here, and then I'm going to put half in here and half in here. Okay, so that's the end of that. All right, and since this one is the chili basil, I am going to add some garlic. I'm going to add a half a teaspoon of garlic. going to do three tablespoons of lime. Okay, that's three. And then on this, <clears throat> I've never done this before. So, um, I watched the Cosmic Cultivators recipe, and I believe they did um, three tablespoons. And since I've never cooked with wine vinegar before, I'm going to go with what they did. I also took the top off the same way they did. So I'm going to go with three tablespoons of the chili basil wine vinegar. Okay. All right. I'm going to dry, dry out off my, this right here so I can use it. I didn't think to put out one for dry and one for wet stuff. So it's a half a teaspoon of black pepper. And I'm gonna go ahead and measure it. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and measure it out for, for this one too. I think I think that'll go okay with that one too. All right. And a half a teaspoon of onion powder. Okay. And it says one and a half teaspoons of salt. So since this is a half teaspoon, I'm gonna do three. I'm going to go ahead and measure it out for this one as well. Okay. All right. Is that everything for this one? Okay. Let me double check my recipe that I wrote down. I just made this up in my own head. Okay, I believe I got everything. I will have the recipe in the description box, box as well. Okay, so I'm going to set this stuff to the side. Okay. And I'm going to move in the next one. Okay, we've already done, we've already done the onion powder and the salt. I'm going to go ahead and do the lime. Three 
three tablespoons of lime. Okay, and I'm gonna do the same thing with this one. Shake it up real good. And three, three, I'm gonna take the top off like I did the other one. And I'm going to do a half a teaspoon of paprika, and this is in the garlic lovers one. And a half a teaspoon of cumin. Okay, I believe that's all the ingredients for both of them. And then I'm just going to mix it up. <coughs> so sorry my allergies are acting up today all right so this one is my garlic lovers and this one is my chili basil they both look really really good and they smell really good Okay, so I am going to marinate these overnight. I will actually be cooking this tomorrow. So I'm just getting the marinade ready, which is step one. And tomorrow I'll bring you back and show you the next step. to go on top of the chicken fajitas made with my Monticello Cellars recipe. I have guacamole, tomatoes for my garden, some spinach, and some sour cream with my low-carb tortillas. So this is what we're going to put on them after they're done. Uh, the chicken is cooking now and the peppers and onions, so we'll bring you back and show you what it looks like. Okay, this is the chicken uh, marinated in the garlic lovers, plus a few other things. Uh, it's cooking up real nice. Okay, so this is the chicken I marinated in the chili basil wine vinegar from Monticello Cellars. It's cooking up really nice. We got our peppers going, and we got our other chicken. I have them separated so we can... We can tell them apart, and uh, when we try it, we'll be able to uh, distinctly tell the difference in the flavors. Okay, this is the, the fajita made from the 
Monticello Cellars Vinegar. This one is the Garlic Lovers. See how pretty that looks with the peppers and tomatoes. Looks good. All right, I'm going to see if I can try this without getting it all over me. Let's see. Oh, it's really good. That meat is so good. It has a great flavor. Love it. This turned out really good. Um, I will come back and show you me trying the chili basil one. But this is the Garlic Lovers, and it is so good with fajitas. It goes perfectly. Love it. Ooh, doesn't that look pretty and colorful? Look at those peppers and tomatoes. What bright colors. That looks tasty. All right, this is the chicken fajita that was uh, marinated in the Monticello Cellars chili basil. And I'm gonna try that. I think there's more. I see a piece of chicken down here, so I'm gonna try it from this end. Okay. That meat is really, really good. I love this marinade. I will put the recipe in the description box. You guys have a great day. Be blessed. Do something kind, guys.